Hey, what is going on guys? The Clips are here today on some square peas. Now today I'm gonna be showing you guys all the devil fruits in the game. I got the owner here helping me out. So huge shout out to this guy. Looks like he's a fish man. All right guys, so the first devil fruit we're gonna be looking at is the chop chop fruit. Now of course, I like everyone knows what the chop chop fruit is. Now this devil fruit is immune to swords. So you can't get hit by swords. So let me show you guys the skills now. So we got, uh, let's see, we got four skills right here. All right, so the first move we got is chop fist. Let's go ahead and throw a fist at him. Bang, there we go. We got the fist right there. That did some good amount of damage. But this is kind of... This move is all right. You know, it's not that big. Oh, it has a big range. What the heck? Hold on. Let me see how much stats we get out of using this one skill. Eh, it's all right. I mean, I'm maxed out, but I mean, it's pretty good. Okay, you know, let's go ahead and check out Chop Car. Okay. Okay, so this is just for movement. So this is pretty... Wait. It actually deals damage. You could run people over with this thing. So this thing is pretty cool as well. Um, and it goes on forever, I think. I don't know. Probably. All right. So the next move, let's go ahead and check out is Chop Festival real quick. Let me hit this guy real quick with it. Chop. Fe this thing got a big range. Hold on a minute. Like you could actually like kill like a bunch of NPCs with this. This is kind of like good for grinding. Look at that. That's really good for grinding. Look at that. That's crazy. Okay. So yeah, Chop Festival is a pretty good move. And the last move we got is Buggy Bomb. Let's go ahead and shoot a Buggy Bomb at the owner real quick and bang okay wow okay the chop them fruit is actually good for the like good in this game like you could do some farming on this with this sling like look at that that right there is a big away move so it's a pretty good fruit i think but um you guys decide if you want to get this fruit but let's move on to the next devil fruit all right guys so now the next fruit we got is the barrier fruit so this move, this uh, devil fruit got four moves. I think every single devil fruit on this game has four moves. But yeah, let's go ahead and use the first skill. Now this is a barrier real quick. So this is just, I don't even think this does anything. Does this even damage or something like that? Let's go ahead and check it out. Let me hit this bandit real quick. Let's see what's up. Barrier crash, don't do damage. Okay, so th this does no damage. All right, so yeah, we're just going to ignore that move. That move is not it. Don't, don't, <laughs> that move is not good. Next one we got is a barrier double. So let's go ahead and use barrier double real quick. Uh, see what this does. Okay, so this is for defense. So this guy can't hit me no more. So yeah, the owner cannot hit me. Okay, so if I use that. That's good for defense. That's a pretty good move, actually. It might be good for, um, we, uh, we might add damage to it, but right now it's just to block projectiles. Oh, so it's just to block projectiles. Okay, so it's a good def This is like a defense fruit right here. That right there. And then we got barrier drop. Let's see what this does. Okay, so this is like you lock people in with yourself. And I th I'm pretty sure it also defends you from people too. So you can't get hit while in the barrier drop. And then finally, we got barrier spike. Now this, I'm guessing, is going to deal damage, and there you go. That's Barrier Spike. Now this Devil Fruit looks like it's more for defense. It's not. I don't think this Devil Fruit is really great for leveling. I can't see this Devil Fruit being really good for leveling at all. Um, so I don't know. I feel like this fruit is more of like a, just a fruit to be there, you know? It's nothing anything crazy, and I don't recommend getting it. But yeah, guys, that's it for the Barrier Fruit. On to the next fruit. All right, guys, so now we're using the Giraffe Fruit. Now let me see how, what kind of skills we got here. There we go. Um, that's it. Okay, all right. So, we're going to press F to transform first, I'm pretty sure. Actually, no, we don't. So, we got Sky Slicer. What the heck? What is this? This is weird. So, we can... I don't think it works without transforming. Uh, you're going to have to transform first, by the way. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. So, you gotta, you do got to transform first. Let's go ahead and transform real quick. All right, there we go. <laughs> Bro, this giraffe is not it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is <laughs> uh, this is the giraffe fruit. Um, okay, let's go ahead and try out the moves then. Okay, so we got sky slicer. Um, what did that do? That did like shoot something out here. Let's try that again. It's like a it's like a sword move. Okay, yeah, that move is I guess is pretty good. Then we got the nose pistol. Nose pistol here. Let me hit this guy. Oh, that's actually a good one. Hold on a minute. The nose pistol is actually a good move. Let me try that again. Okay, so the nose pistol does like a huge AoE attack. Look, it even kills enemies over there. So this fruit it could be pretty good for, you know, doing quests, leveling up and all that kind of stuff. Let me see how much stats I get from this. Probably get some good stats from that every time I use this skill. Never mind. Okay, so this one's not that good. Okay, so let's move on to the next one, which is called Giraffe Rampage. And this one... Okay, so it's a big AoE move as well. This devil fruit actually is really good i think because it got big aoe moves and like look it does like 3.7k damage when you're maxed out so this could be look and that's 5k damage 
yeah, this devil fruit is really this devil fruit could be really OP in PvP. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the draft fruit. On to the next one. Alright, so the next one we got is the invisible fruit. Now, this fruit is just you could turn invisible. And it's not really turning invisible. So I mean, if this fully went invisible, I feel like this devil fruit would be hella cool because then you could do some trolling. So I'm gonna ask the owner if he could do that. On my screen, you're fully invisible. Oh, never mind. So it I am fully this is the best devil fruit we're trolling. Yeah, I might be some I might do some trolling with this devil fruit. But yeah, guys, that's the invisible fruit. This devil fruit is mainly just for trolling. I feel like this devil fruit could be pretty OP for PvP as well. If you don't want to use anything crazy, just use like electro and stuff. But yeah, guys, that's the invisible fruit. On to the next one. Alright, guys. So now moving on to the fire fruit. We got a logia type now. So of course, when you get hit, you know. Uh, you turn into fire because you're logia type. Okay, so let's move on to the moves. We got fire fist, firefly, fire pillar. He's burning now. So this is just a normal projectile. Nothing too crazy. That's pretty cool. And now the next move we got is firefly. Now this is just flying around. This is pretty good for going around different islands and stuff. I always recommend getting um, fruits that have fly because with fly fruits, you could look around for uh, double fruits pretty easily. Then the next move we got is fire pillar. Bang! Big AoE move. Dang, that was a huge. That's huge. Okay. I swear, like, every single Lagia fruit is, like, really good for, like, leveling. Because they all got, like, huge AoE attacks. Like, insane amount of AoE attacks. And then the last one we got is Fireball. Now, I'm guessing this is the ultimate attack. Yes, it is. Bang, there you go. Look at that huge... That, like, did, like, the whole island almost. Like, right over here and over there. Yeah, so this double fruit is, like, pretty good for that. Because you could do some pretty good farming with this. But, yeah, guys. That's pretty much it for the fire fruit. Let's move on to the next one. Alright, guys. So, now we got the ice double fruit. He, he, no me. So, now what this one does is that when you jump on, you know, water, you can walk on water. So, you know, this one's pretty cool. But, yeah, guys. Let's move on to the moves. So, the first move we got is ice bird. Let's go ahead and use that real quick quick bang there we go that one's a pretty huge aoe move as well ice bird is pretty good actually it's a good projectile this is like probably one of the best projectiles because it does such a huge aoe attack and it barely costs any stamina next one we got is the ice tornado let's go ahead and use that real quick bang there you go look at that Ooh, look at that tornado right there okay so we got that the tornado move goes on for a while so this is pretty good for like and does it actually hit stuff Oh, I gotta try that out. I gotta I gotta see if it like actually hits the NPCs over there. Like does it travel travel over there and hit them? It does do that. Wow, okay, that's a pretty good move. So like if you wanna be a like this is really good for bounty hunting for sure. PvPing, bounty hunting, pretty good. And then we got the ice glide. Now I'm guessing with this ice glide, oh it also freezes people. Man, I don't know which I don't know which fruit would be the best fruit on this game. Like that, I don't know. I've been thinking about which devil fruit really is the best devil fruit. Comment down below which one you think is the best devil fruit in the game. And of course, you could use ice glide on the surface of the water because you can walk on water and like it's faster than a boat. I swear, it's faster than a boat. So, who needs a boat if you got the ice devil fruit? And, all right, and finally, the last move. Let's go ahead and uh, go on land real quick. Is called ice hail. Gonna use ice hill real quick and i'm guessing what's gonna happen what's happening okay so i don't i just i just i don't know what happened i think those particles if they land on someone then they will freeze let me try that one more time yeah so it does freezes people if they do like if it does land on someone Ice Devil Fruit is OP. Like, you could stun lock someone so easily with this Devil Fruit. But yeah, guys, that's it for the Ice one. Let's move on to the next. All right, guys. So now we got the Lightning Devil Fruit. So this one's pretty good. I actually have this Devil Fruit myself. Um, shout out to one of the persons that gave it to me. His name was King something. I, I'm sorry if I forgot your name. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to uh, Lightning Dragon, the first move. So now this one, huge AoE attack. Hella good. Then we got the next move, which is a lightning teleport. This move is really good as well. Now, the reason why this move is so good, why this devil fruit is so OP, and this is how I actually maxed out my devil fruit, guys, is what was with the lightning devil fruit, because this thing is hella good for leveling. I'm level 800 on fruit, but if I just keep spamming E, like the move, look at how fast my fruit is going up. Like, look at that. That is going insanely fast stuff. And I could just keep spamming this over and over. 
Like, I could, like, look at that. You could get to max level so easily. I got to max level using the Lightning Devil Fruit because the Lightning Devil Fruit is just so easy to level with. I honestly recommend looking around for the Lightning Devil Fruit because it's like the best thing to level your Devil Fruit with. All right, next one we got is Thunder. Now, Thunder is like a really good move. Like, look at this move. So, this move automatically attacks anything that's near you. Like, you don't even have to aim it, my guy. You just press the button and look at that, guys. Hold on, let me try using it again. So there's a long cooldown, but look at that. That does some pretty good damage right there. So yeah, guys, like, I don't know. Like, I've been thinking, like, which Devil Fruit is, like, the best Devil Fruit in this? Because all of them have, like, their own thing, you know? Like, they're all really good. And then we got the last one, which is called Raigo. Let's go ahead and use that real quick. And then a big lightning strike. Bang. The whole island is gone almost. But yeah, guys, that's the lightning Devil Fruit. Let's move on to the next one. All right, guys, so now we're on to the Magma Fruit. Now, the Magma Fruit is pretty fire, no cap. So let's go ahead and try out the moves. So the first move we got, of course, is Magma Fist. Now, Magma Fist deals burning damage as well. I'm pretty sure the Flame Fruit does that too. I don't know. I kind of forgot. And then the next one we got is Magma Fly. Of course, you can fly around with this fruit. Basically, the same thing how the Flame Fruit, you can fly around. It's the same thing. So nothing different. And then we got the Hound Crimson Lotus. Let's go ahead and use that real quick. Let me zoom out. Bang, huge AOE, hits a bunch of stuff, deals burning damage. Let me try that in the air real quick. Oh, it's actually a projectile move. Okay, I did not know that. Okay, that's a projectile move. And then the next one we got is Meteor, Meteor Volcano. Now this one is a pretty good move right there. There you do that. A bunch of Lava Fists just flying down, hitting a bunch of stuff. So yeah, this move is pretty good as well. Now, this move is also really good to use to level up your Devil Fruit as well, just like how the Lightning one. But this one is not as fast, actually. As you can see, like, it goes up really pretty fast. You know, I'm level 800. It goes up pretty fast, but it's not as fast as Lightning. So, Lightning is still better. All right, so that's all the skills for Magma. Let's move on to the Light Fruit. Now, this is the final fruit in the game, guys. Uh, there isn't any more fruits. This is basically all Devil Fruit Showcase. Now, I'm, I'm, I know for a fact that they're going to be adding more Devil Fruits into the game. Which, of course, I'll be making videos on. So, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't. If you want to be updated with, you know, new Devil Fruit updates and stuff. Because I'll be dropping videos on those for sure. Alright, so the first one we got is Pika Projectile. Let's go ahead and use that real quick. Bang! Okay, there we go. Huge freaking AoE, of course. We got the Pika Fly. Now, this thing is insanely fast you don't need a boat with this if you got if you got pika you do not need a boat because pika fly is actually insane look at how fast this thing is this is like insanely fast this is really good and then we got hold on let me see how much xp i get from that let me try that out real quick okay you don't get much xp from it but i mean still it's pretty good now we got the pika barrage let's go ahead and use a pika barrage real quick Okay, this, okay, this is really good. Yeah, this, can you keep doing this forever? Oh, you can, but damn, that move is really good, guys. That, like, you could literally put so much pressure on someone if you're fighting someone. Or, like, let's say if they're, like, farming or something, and you just come out of nowhere and, like, yo, I need your bounty, my guy. And you just start doing a barrage on, look at that. It deals some good amount of damage, too. Look at that. Did he die? Okay, he's almost dead. He's halfway. So, yeah, that... That move is pretty good. And then finally, we've got the Pika Beam. Let's go ahead and try that real quick. Bang. Okay, that's the Pika Beam. Well, guys, that is all the Devil Fruits in the, the game. Uh, they're going to add a bunch more. You know what? Let's see if the owner would be nice enough to hint as to what the next Devil Fruit is. Ain't too sure about the next Devil Fruit, but has high chance of being another low. Oh, shoot. Okay, okay. Hmm, which one could it be? We're working on crews and fighting styles and swords at the moment. Okay, that's cool. We're getting a lot of swords. We're getting fighting styles. All right, well, anyway, guys, I'm going to end it right there. We're finished with all the Devil Fruit showcases. So, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't so I can keep you updated with some awesome videos like this one. And peace out.